The Lands and Natural Resources Minister, Kwekwe Asumacheme, led a team to take inventory of seized excavators at the aviation lands. He indicated he had caused the arrest of one person for the stealing of excavators, but addressing the press in Parliament, the minority indicated that it is worrying government is still flouting the law governing such seized items. Yesterday, we listened to the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, and he had indicated that eight of these excavators that were brought to Accra for safekeeping have gotten missing. And you realize that still they have not listened to the minority uh, statement or concerns that the minerals and mining act must be followed. On the floor of the House, the Education Regulatory Bodies Bill was debated at the second reading stage and passed. The bill seeks to establish bodies to regulate the education sector in the country effectively and efficiently. Professor Chris Yanka is the Minister of State in charge of tertiary education. The bill is in six parts, but one of the bill restructures and merges the existing National Council for Tertiary Education and the National Accreditation Board into one institution to be known as the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. Part two of the bill merges the Council for Technical and Vocational Education and Training and the National Board for Professional and Technician Examinations into a new body to be known as the Commission for Technical and Vocational Education and Training. Others contributed to the bill. I am glad that we will bring the NVTI and NAPTEX coordinate together under this bill. And what is more important, the institutions should be made. All of them under our great health, all of them should be brought under this body and they should be given full powers to regulate uh, technical uh, institutes in this country. Because really, that is the game changer for job creation in our country. All this marketing business, grammar type education, it does not provide jobs for the youth as, as it should. We need the hands-on education to become an industrialized nation. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Mentsopoku.